Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, we are going to study organic chemistry, lesson 4, alkenes, part 1. These are hydrocarbons that contain a double bond. General formula of alkenes is CN H2N where N is greater or equal to 2. Examples We have ethene, propene, butyl 1 in, butyl 2 in. For branched alkenes, we number the carbon atoms from the side nearest the double bond. For example, the compound below is a free methyl but one in. The methyl group is attached to carbon free of but one in. Between a number and a letter, we put a dash. Physical properties. They are insoluble in water. They are soluble in organic solvents. They are solvents themselves. They range from gases to liquids to wax solids. Chemical properties. 1. Combustion. Alkanes burn in air to produce carbon dioxide, water, and heat. For example, a thin plus oxygen, you get carbon dioxide plus water and heat. Like alkanes, alkanes are used as fuels. 2. Reduction. Alkanes are reduced by hydrogen in the presence of a catalyst, nickel or platinum, to alkanes. For example, a thin plus hydrogen in the presence of nickel, you get ethane. Three, hydration reaction is alkanes are hydrated by dilute alkaline potassium permanganate to form glycose or dihydroxyl compounds. For example, ethane reacts with dilute alkaline potassium permanganate to produce ethane 1 2 dio mechanism one of the double bond of ethane breaks and bonds with oxygen atom on permanganate ion a bond between that oxygen and manganese breaks and the electron is donated to manganese atom one of the double bond between manganese and another oxygen atom breaks and moved to bond with the second carbon atom of those that formed a double bond unstable compound is formed that is hydrolyzed to form ethane 1 2 dio For electrophilic addition reactions. These are reactions in which electron deficient groups add to unsaturated compounds such as alkenes and alkynes to form saturated compounds. Since when a compound AB adds across a double bond of an alkene, say propene, 
a less electronegative atom A adds to a carbon atom 1 with the highest number of hydrogen atoms. The more electronegative atom B bonds to carbon atom 2 with the least number of hydrogen atoms. Mechanism. Since B is more electronegative than A, the bond between A and B is polar, with a partial positive charge on A and partial negative charge on B. The partial positive charge on A attracts a pair of electrons from the double bond, and the bond between A and B breaks the pair of electrons moved to B, forming B with a negative charge. A, or the first atom, to bond with an alkene, bonds on the carbon atom with the highest number of hydrogen atoms. A positive charge develops on carbon 2, or carbon atom with the least number of hydrogen atoms. Then the negatively charged ion B donates a lone pair of electron and bonds with the positively charged carbon atom to form the product. Alternatively, a B undergoes electrolytic fusion to form A with positive charge and B with negative charge. The positive charge on A attracts a pair of electrons from the double bond and bonds on the carbon atom with the highest number of hydrogen atoms. A positive charge develops on carbon atom 2 with the least number of hydrogen atoms. Finally, the negatively charged ion B donates a lone pair of electrons to and bonds with the positively charged carbon atom to form the product. Note that the first atom, all group of atoms to bond with the alkane, bonds to a carbon atom that carries the highest number of hydrogen atoms of those that forms a double bond. One, reaction of alkenes with the halogen is X2, where X is Cl, Br, or I. Halogenes react with alkenes in the presence of inert solvent such as tetrachloromethane to produce dihalogenated compounds. For instance, the alkene below reacts with X2 in the presence of tetrachloromethane to form dihalogenated compound. Mechanism. Oscillation of a bond in a halogen molecule causes momentary polarity in a halogen molecule. One of the atoms developing a partial positive charge while another developing a partial negative charge. The halogen atom with a partial positive charge attracts one of the double bond of the alkane. The bond between the halogen molecule breaks and the pair of electrons is donated to the second atom that becomes negatively charged. The first atom to bond with the alkane 
bonds on the carbon atom with the highest number of hydrogen atoms. A positive charge develops on the carbon atom with the least number of hydrogen atoms. The negatively charged halogen ion donates a lone pair of electron to the positively charged carbon atom to form dihalogen compound. Note that a lone pair of electron is a pair of unshared electrons on one atom only. For instance, the chloride ion below has four lone pairs of electrons. Example 1. Propene reacts with bromine in the presence of tetrachromethane to form one two dibromo propane mechanism the bond pair in propene breaks and pair of electron donated to the bromine atom in the bromine molecule the bond between the bromine Atoms breaks and a pair of electrons donated to the second bromine atom to form a bromine ion. The first bromine atom to bond with propene bonds to carbon atom 1 with the highest number of hydrogen atoms. A positive charge develops on the second carbon atom with the least number of hydrogen atoms. The bromine ion then donates a lone pair of electron to the positively charged carbon atom to form one two dibromo propane. Note that the arrows is uh, originate from a bond or a lone pair of electron indicated by the two dots on the bromine ion. Example 2 2 methyl propene reacts with chlorine in the presence of tetrachloromethane to give one two dichloro to methyl propane mechanism one of the double bond breaks and the pair of electron donated to a chlorine atom of a chlorine molecule the bond between the chlorine atoms breaks and the pair of electron donated to the second atom to form a chloride ion. The first atom to bond with two methyl propene bonds on carbon atom one with the highest number of hydrogen atoms. A positive charge forms on carbon two with the least number of hydrogen atoms. Then the chloride ion donates a lone pair of electron to the positively charged carbon atom to form one two dichloro two methyl propane. The two dots on chloride ion indicates a lone pair of electrons. Exercise 1. Complete and write a mechanism between phenylethene and bromine in the presence of methane. You can pause and answer. Phenylethene reacts with bromine 
in the presence of tetrachloromethane to form one two dibromophenylethane mechanism. The double bond breaks and donates a pair of electron to the bromine atom in the bromine molecule. The bond between the bromine atom in the molecule breaks and a pair of electron donated to the second bromine atom to form bromine iron. The first bromine atom to bond with phenylethane bonds on the carbon atom to with the highest number of hydrogen atoms. A positive charge develops on carbon atom 1 with the least number of hydrogen atoms. The bromine ion donates a lone pair of electron to the positively charged carbon atom to form 1,2-dibromoethane. You can pause and answer. Two methylpropene reacts with iodine in the presence of tetrachloromethane to form 1,2-dibromo-2-methylpropane. Mechanism. One of the double bond breaks and a pair of electron donated to iodine atom in iodine molecule. The bond between iodine atoms in the molecule breaks and a pair of electron donated to the second iodine atom to form iodine ion. The first iodine atom to bond with two methylpropene bonds on carbon atom 1 with the highest number of hydrogen atoms. A positive charge develops on carbon 2 with the least number of hydrogen atoms. The iodine ion donates a lone pair of electrons and bonds with the positively charged carbon atom to form 1,2-dibromo-2-methylpropane. Note that the reaction occurs only at the functional group, which is a double bond between two carbon atoms.